episode 1277, Joy in the Midst of Adversity. Moms, needing a little inspiration and a ray of hope? You've come to the right place. This is the show that you can turn to for just the pick-me-up you need. This is Create Your Now, Your Best Selfie. Here's your host, certified life coach, personal trainer, and nutritionist, Christiane Wargo. Staring at a stop sign, watching people Happy every day. It is Motivation Inspiration Day, radio. and I pray that your heart is filled with joy, because if not, so maybe you're going through some struggles. Maybe things just aren't working out right. Well, I'm here to let you know that there is joy in the midst of adversity. For those of you who are brand new to Creature Now, welcome to this incredible family. I'm so delighted of your presence. If you already haven't had the opportunity, you'll want to head on over to createyournow.com where you can learn more and sign up for the Kisses newsletter, the Keep It Simple Strategy Everyday Solutions to Live, Love, and Impact. Well, who would think you could find joy in the midst of adversity? Because when the heart hurts, when you're in pain, how can joy exist too? Joy isn't something that comes from what you can do It doesn't come from what you can't do for yourself. It's not something that comes from your lifelong partner. Joy delights in full happiness, deeper than what the world can give, deeper than what money can buy. Joy is found in who you are in Christ. But when your world is crashing around you, running away and hiding from God only solidifies who is in control of your life. You. When you go and hide in the closet because you don't want to deal with the day, when you go and bury yourself in work because you don't want to deal with the stuff at home, you're trying to control the circumstances. Is that really what you need to be doing? Coordinating every move, planning every step. You can trip yourself up more than helping yourself organize the chaos. How much are you trying to do it all? Be honest with yourself right now, in this brief moment. Do you feel like your summer is falling apart? Do you feel like you had a vacation plan and for some reason it's not working out because of circumstances? Whether they're in your control or not? Maybe you're trying to do it all. Happy children, happy spouse, happy house. Maybe you want that house with a white picket fence, but you're drowning in debt. You're carrying two jobs, trying to start an at-home business, kind of your side hustle right now, hoping that maybe you can give up one job and still have two, but just be able to be home with one. Joy in adversity. I promise you it's there, but we don't feel it, do we? I mean, I know I don't feel it when I'm flustered. The last thing I do is sit there and say, oh, this feels so great. This is awesome. This is what joy should be. No, your emotions are going crazy. Worse than any brand new roller coaster you can ride that has more flips and turns and ups and downs and, you know, twists where you're hanging upside down and all that. No. And you're sitting here going, well, you're trying to tell me that I've got joy in the midst of adversity. Yes, you do. What if you would stop in the middle of the mess and ask, make me to hear joy and gladness that the bones which thou hast broken may rejoice. That comes from Psalm 51, verse 8. Make me hear joy. What would happen if you stood in the middle of the room when your children are having a temper tantrum and it just sounds like a battle, a war zone in your own house? And you're like, I can't handle this. It's too loud. And they don't have a volume control. They just keep getting louder and louder. I'm losing my patience. I can't hear myself think. Hubby's coming home, he wants dinner on the table, and all I'm dealing with is mess after mess after mess. Lord, help me to hear joy and gladness in the midst of my brokenness. Joy in the midst of adversity. 
when troubles begin bubbling up in your life. Don't attach yourself to the troubles. We do it all the time. I do it. I'm like, oh, I missed that bill. I'm a day late. And then you're like, you know, hubby's going to get mad at me because he's going to see that I'm a day late, a dollar more now, right? Because you have to pay a late fee. And he's going to be like, can you not just do one thing that I ask you? Mm -hmm. We've all heard that statement. We've also said it ourselves. But when all these troubles, your struggles, maybe a diagnosis that you got recently from the doctor, when all of it's happening in your life and it just feels like a spa treatment, right? Have you ever gone into a hot tub where you have all these bubbles, right? And then you have the power what? To turn them up? Uh Uh-huh. That's what happens when you attach yourself to your troubles. It just keeps bubbling more and more. And pretty soon, what? You get so many bubbles and when you get in it, what? They begin to overflow, And you're like, oh my gosh. And then it it becomes foamy. Yeah, it gets even messier, doesn't it? But then if you kind of begin to turn them down, what happens? There's calmness. There's peace. There's understanding. Attach yourself to God. Ask him for strength, for endurance. James 1 verse 2 says this, when troubles of any kind come your way, consider it an opportunity for great joy. Maybe you need to be carrying that around today. Write it down. When troubles of any kind come my way, consider it an opportunity for my great joy. Own it. There is joy in the midst of adversity. The moment of truth is what you attach yourself to. So if the situation is tearing your heart apart, then that's truth because that's what you're owning. If it's what you have guarded within your heart, then that's truth. Adversity doesn't have to take the wind out of your sails. Adversity doesn't have to be a setback. It can be a comeback. So where is your comeback today? If you continue to read James 1, verses 3 and 4, you know, it. we just read verse 2. When troubles of any kind come your way, consider it an opportunity for great joy. It continues, verse 3 and 4. For you know that when your faith is tested, your endurance has a chance to grow. So let it grow. For when your endurance is fully developed, you will be perfect and complete, needing nothing. Joy in the midst of adversity will draw you closer to God. Those burdens, your misfortunes, are opportunities for greatness. Open your eyes to what isn't right in front of you. God wants your heart. He delights in carrying your baggage. Do you feel really weighed down today? Do you feel like you've got so much on your heart, on your shoulders, your legs feel heavy. Stop trying to drag your baggage with you everywhere. Let God carry your baggage. He delights in it. Lean on his strength. For when you surrender your whole heart, there's joy in the midst of adversity. Go out today with a smile. Be present Be incredible. Be you because one step at a time leads to your miles of greatness. I love you so very much. I cannot wait to see you on the other side. Blessings, hugs, and lots and lots of love. We'll talk to you real soon. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye. Feeling inspired, ready to train for life, and love your journey? Visit createyournow.com for more incredible resources to help you along the way. We'll see you next time on Create Your Now, Your Best Selfie. And remember, always be sure you consult your physician before beginning any health and fitness plan.